doing my top 10 favorite roller coasters at Six Flags and technically I'm making this video one for the fun of it and two because I kind of lost the recordings from Great Adventure with on the ride. I recorded the wrong way so I'm sorry about that but I'll try to make a whole other video about how it was there with Kiara and everything and I'll see if I could have Kiara come over and we could just talk about it and let you guys know how it was. And also, I recorded on my Snapchat, and I'm not going to just make a whole other video about that, because that's just going to be a few seconds, so I thought I would put it in the intro for this video. So, what are we waiting for? Let's just get right in. Number 10 is El Toro. I know most of you are probably going to be upset with me because, I mean, come on, this is like the best wooden roller coaster in the whole world, except I just can't do it because of my back and it makes my back hurt really bad, but I have to try it again and try to not put my arms up, but that's going to be hard for me because I love intensity. <laughs> Nine is the runaway train. I don't really like this ride because I just, I don't know how to explain. It's just boring. Let's just say that. Like, the first time I went on this, I was not screaming at all. I was only laughing at my friend screaming her head off. I was just like, how are you screaming? This is so lame. Eight is Zumanjaro. Now, I've only been on this ride once, so I don't have a lot of information on it, but all I know is it's one of the tallest drop towers in the world, and I was really scared on it, and I was almost crying on it because it is so tall, and it was my first drop tower. Seven is the Joker. Now I put this as seven because I feel like I'll like this ride. It's just that I'm going to be terrified to go on it because it spins like crazy. But I think I'll really enjoy this ride and I'll try to do a point of view on it since I know how to work the sunglasses now when it opens. Six is the Green Lantern. Now, the Green Lantern is a, is a stand-up roller coaster, so it's a lot more painful than you would expect it would be, and it really bangs your head around, and I'm just letting you guys know it's really painful. Like, you could get very lightheaded after this ride. <laughs> Five is The Dark Knight. Now, I like this ride, except in the beginning, I just don't like the scary part where, like, the Joker interferes with the connection. That just really scares me. But other than that, this is a really fun ride. I really recommend it. Four is Skull Mountain. Now, this ride I really dislike when people say they don't like it because it is so fun. It is pitch black. They play music. It is just so fun. I really recommend this for those of you that are beginners with roller coasters because this is a really fun ride. Three is Bizarro. Now, this is my favorite upside down ride at Great Adventure. It is so fun. Like, I mean, it's so fun. It has all these amazing inversions. Like, they have fire that comes up and misters. Oh, it's just so fun and intense. I really recommend this. Number 
Number two is the rat I used to be terrified of, King Daka. Now, oh my god, this ride is so intense. It is so fun. I don't care if you're a beginner with roller coasters, you need to try this. It is so fun. <laughs> Number one is Nitro, my favorite ride out of all these rides I just reviewed. OMG, this ride is so fun. I don't care if you're a beginner, like I said on that other that one other ride, which I think was King Dukkah. Just do this ride. It is so fun. You're not you're gonna regret it if you don't do it. Thanks for watching. If it makes you guys feel any better, I'll put the link to the Superman video down below when Carly, Christina, and I were at Great Adventure and I recorded there. So, thanks for watching. Bye!